What is going on guys, BCD here, and today I just want to bring you a quick video. Um, basically what I want to go over is the Queen Valkyrie fight, and what strats I use in order to beat the bitch and take her damn head essentially. But going over the fight, um, some of the things that I tried to use and did not try to use was regular attacks. I did not want to use those, those were something that left you vulnerable and um, open to pretty much anything so you always want to have your guard up so this entire fight I essentially only use my runic attacks and I can go over every one that I try I used um, so for my um, Leviathan axe I use the fury of the ice troll it is the um, it's like a, ra um, <clears throat> a radius shockwave essentially um, it's just it's real quick that's why I chose it because you need some runics that are quick and not not too heavy on the animation because they usually sometimes they will you know continue to fight you while you're trying to stun them so um, I use that one because it's quick and easy and I use the Evaldi's anvil um, it's just like a area effect attack freeze I really liked it because it not only can you do a first initial impact, but then you, when you pull up, it actually gives another um, s small amount of damage chip. So I'm glad I was kind of happy with that and the damage output that it was doing and the speed of it. For my actual um, Blades of Chaos, I was using the Neiman's Crush um, because I, it was quick and easy, real fast, but it does a lot of damage. And then the Hyperion Grapple because it gets you close in and it like really it really does stun them and gets you a lot of damage so those are the four that I were using the actual um, talisman of the rams that was the I forget what they call it but that was the ability that I was essentially using where you can shift time I would use that during moments where she was um, a little bit too unpredictable or if I was really low on health and I had a bunch of um, health bursts laying around I was trying to pick up. I would use that to, you know, slow down the pace, get my bearings, and then go back to the fight. Um, I will also recommend trying to find any items that will allow you to, on hit to get one of those health bursts to drop. Because those are our beneficial in the fight. Um, I believe I had one on that when I do runic attacks and when I was doing um, regular successful hits. It would drop a, um, it had the potential to drop a health burst. So look for those type of items because um, those are really beneficial in these types of fights because you don't really get any health. And um, the last thing I want to cover is this the resurrection stone. What I was utilizing for that and what I felt it would be the best one was the berserker. A lot of people prefer the superior um, because it gives you so much health pack. I prefer the berserker because um, I use. H Atreus. I use Atreus's um wolves, the wolf the wolf one, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's the one where the wolves come out. Um I've upgraded to its max and it really does a lot of stun damage to the enemy. So I use that to stun them and then I uh just go berserk pretty much and try to beat them up as fast as I can to get as much health back, but it also allows me to do a lot of damage with that not too much of a risk. So I prefer to use that. Um, but yeah, it's then it's learning their movements, it's kind of like that Dark Souls mentality. You just learn their patterns and you go in and you, you know, you just win. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There's nothing really else to say. Um, you just learn, learn their patterns. Um, when they scream that Van Halo, you get out the way. Um, it's just really learning their patterns, understanding what it is and how to you know use your methods use your um it's that risk reward type deal so don't just go in guns ablaze and you have to really pay attention to their patterns but by the time you get to the queen you probably understand all their patterns by now so it really would, shouldn't be an issue it's just more of <laughs> making yourself the best prepared you can be before you step into the ring with her but yeah that's pretty much it i want to thank you guys for watching um, if you like this commentary, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, peace.